I have just learned my second big lesson in surface tension. I'm gonna share it with you in case it's helpful because it really might be. Um, okay, so I was trying to get water from our domestic supply down at that carport all the way uphill to the high tunnels. And I chose to run three quarter inch tubing because it seemed like a somewhat smaller diameter tubing would require less flow to push the water uphill and less volume. And I obviously didn't know what I was doing, but I was just kind of going with my intuition. By the time the water got up here to the high tunnels, there was just barely a trickle coming out. And if I lifted the hose off the ground, even one foot stopped coming out, no water. And I was like, oh, we just don't have enough pressure to pump water up here without an inline additional pump. But I was wrong. We do have enough pressure. For the cistern, we used this one inch CTS tubing. So one inch instead of three quarter inch. And we're going not just to the high tunnels, but uphill even more to the cistern, which is at the top of that hill. The crazy thing is that there's plenty of water coming out with no inline pump just because we increased the diameter from three quarter inch to one inch. And that's because we reduced the surface tension. And I had no idea that we would be able to pump water from our domestic well without any inline pump support all the way up to the top of the hill just by increasing the diameter of the tubing. Crazy, but true. So if you're running water uphill in any kind of tubing, you want to do the math and figure out what diameter will work for you. Don't just guess based on what you think makes sense because that might be the wrong answer.